Alright, how's it going? Today we're doing uh, Gunning Games again, week 2. We're getting 320k this time. Which I believe is the highest score I've ever seen. Um, anyway, so we're jumping right into it. Builders is the exact same as last time. Um, we're just doing it a bit more efficiently. Um, so yeah, we're getting both uh, emo finishes off the start. It's pretty important. We're also getting weapon kills and nobility kills so we can get a super, super fast and ready for this next bit. We're also going to get some magnum kills just to get some more ability empowerment. I'm going to go for the finisher immediately on this guy. He's going to push me back and I'm slowed so I'm going to use Icarus Dash to get in there. I'm now going to run through and place my well here. And then I'm just going to start mowing things down. As you'll see, I do weaken things, uh, weaken mages, but if the emote doesn't show up in the chat, then I just go for the void kill, so I have a chance to get more heavy ammo. Uh, the thing about this is I do get pretty lucky with uh, ammo drops, um, but I am also you know, uh, managing my ammo by switching to my special weapons to get kills as well. So now we're going to go back to this area, so I can weaken this incendio and get him there. Now that I've got a well again, I'm going to put it back in the middle, but I think this is a bit of a waste. Don't get the amount of this, so I'm just going to kill him. And that's it. You're going to... It's going to uh, start the next bit. Um, when there are two or three enemies left, so you want to make sure that you've killed the high value ones and left some weaker ones because they will despawn. Anyway, so for here, we're going to throw a grenade immediately at the gladiator, then weaken it with a machine gun. That'll give us junkie times five and also volatile rounds, so you can take care of this phalanx really easily, which is very nice. Usually I have my super here, but um, I didn't this time. So I'm going to try to uh, clear out a few things while also staggering the champion. I have to keep moving around because of these gladiators though, which is a bit annoying. Don't get the emote off there, so I'm just going to kill him like that. Now I'm waiting for the lift, so we're going to kill these sounds over there. So we're going to Icarus Dash here, just to change our momentum. Throw a grenade at this uh, Shadow Guard, and then weaken him with the Magnum. Get the Emote Finisher off. It does count the Insult to Injury Metal, but nothing else, so... It's a bit annoying, but it does mean it's farmable, but I've never tried farming it. It's very inconsistent. Anyway, so we picked up the orb and dropped it. So that will spawn all the other enemies for us to deal with. I'm not using the super here yet, because I have to... <clears throat> they're spread out quite a bit, and I want to keep mobile. I'm going to leave... Uh, that... Um, Colossus behind me, uh, just so... Yeah, just so I don't backtrack more. Um, I'm trying to get as many precision hits off of these legionaries, but it's not working to me well. Now I'm going to get the barrier. I'm going to get the emo finish off. Now that's all dealt with, I'm going to go back for the bomb. I'm going to kill the Colossus first. I'm going to weaken him down with the glaive just because it's easy. And then I think I thought the uh, Centurion was at full health, so that's a bit annoying. Missed out on a couple thousand points, which is a bit annoying, but you know, it's whatever. Anyway, so now we're just going to go for the orb dunk. Saw some heavy to my right, so I'm going to get that. It's going to spawn a couple more guys, including a Thrasher, which is always fun. So we're going to try and weaken the crosses from here so we can 
just uh, be ready to emote. I'm going to put the well down here, because I can see everything very well at this position. I'm going to get the emote finisher from that smaller colossus. And then just spray everything down with heavy. Don't get the emote off, so I just go for the kill. And we're going to take out the thresher. Now we've got a major legionary, which I accidentally kill in one shot, and the phalanx, not phalanx, uh, incendio. This this is proof that uh, this this game hates me because I always think he's in finished range, but then he's just not. And if yeah, if if the health bar ever reaches zero, even if it doesn't. Yeah, even if you never get to finish a range, even if it does reach zero, the guy will die. So you have to wait for it to regenerate and then um, weaken him down again, and it's just really annoying. Anyway, so we're pretty good for ammo, but could be better. Gonna go use the magnum to take out these three guys in front of me. Now we've got a Thresher again, and a couple of Gladiators and such, so now that I have Ability Empowerment I'm just going to do a bit of Grenade Spam with the Machine Gun. And there we go, now it's down. Now I'm just going to use the Magnum to take these guys out because my Heavy is a bit low, and there's some special on the ground. So now I'm going to place my well here, so I can uh, see just about everything. Get some nice precision headshots and some sprees, which is always good. Just waiting for the champion to push up, there he is. Once again the finish of being a bit annoying. But we got it off, which is fine. Now, full heavy, so I'm just going to use some here. I'm actually going to try to get this guy finished, but I failed. Throw a grenade at the Shadow Guard. She'll get him down to finish a range, so I'm just going to run in. Being completely destroyed by this uh, harvester, though, which is always a fun time. Something I didn't know is that you can actually shoot down the uh, the gun on the harvester, which would have made things a lot easier, but also a little bit slower and less fun. So anyway, now that we've done that, we're going to place our well down, and we're just going to mow through this big wave or two of ads. We've got a champion coming up on our left. So, yeah. See, he's got no health, but he's not finishable. Anyway. Ugh. Anyway, so now we're gonna assault this shit. We're gonna take out the little guys with the magnum. I grab some heavy on the way. Just killed that guy with a snap for some health. Now we're going to weaken these guys down, see if we can get a finisher or two. Playing very risky here, but managed to work out. Not going to get the finisher off on that, but I do get a brick from beyond, which is also awesome. Sorry. Don't get the finisher off. You might, sorry. Uh, so now we've got 
We own 1,500, oh sorry, yeah, 150,000 points and we've got 10 minutes in, which is really nice timing, but yeah, one kill off gold already. Um, and yeah, we've still got a lot to kill, so I think we'll do pretty well. We're going to start off by jumping over here and throw a grenade to weaken these gladiators. We're going to put a well down, try to get as many precision hits as possible, turn around, do the same thing. I'm going to try to snipe these guys with the magnum. You do always want to watch out for this uh, Goliath tank because he can actually one-shot you uh, in a well if you get a direct hit, which is always a fun run end up. So we're just going to take down the legs with a couple grenades and machine gun. And then we can move on. I want to kill some of these gladiators so I can get more uh, super energy. But I'm just going to leave him because everything's spawning. I throw one bullet out to break all the shields, then put my well down. This will allow me to get all the precision kills. Uh, whereas if you have the well up, you'll do too much damage and just kill them. Get the emote finisher off there. And now on to some legionaries and send you. Just gonna take them all out then glaive. This game man. I swear to god it's only on this strike that I've had this happen so many times. Anyway, so we're gonna call the lift down. We're not gonna place our well yet, we're gonna sort of waste as much time waiting for the well to come down just by running around these dogs and place the well so a bit far away so we don't damage them too much then we're just going to take them all out and then continue to spray down everything try to get as many precision hits as possible for the sprees And then just get the magnum to kill the Lusk one. Then I'm going to use the magnum to take out the Tormentor's uh, shoulders. Magnum is actually really good against Tormentor's because of its massive precision multiplier. Anyway, so now that more enemies are spawned, we're going to run down. And we're just going to take them out from down here. It takes the Tormentor ages to get down here, which is really nice. Because then we can just deal with all these guys. Yeah, the Torment is, has a really hard time pathfinding in this area. Uh, mainly because, I don't know, Torment is weird. And also, of course, this area wasn't designed for melee units like Gladiators or Tormentors. I see he's finishable, so I'm going to emote and then jump right at him. And then going to do the same for this Incendio. And now will start to cause things to despawn, so I want to take out as much as possible while I still can. Yep, now they're despawning. We've still got some war beasts to go, I've got very little heavy so I'm just using my special. I've got very little everything, but I get one brick there. I throw a grenade to reload because I have max ability empowerment and I don't want to stop sprinting. Anyway, now we're onto the hangar section. This is pretty simple and a pretty pretty good way to get some more precision sprees. Gonna push up, place the well here. Gonna wait for Zahn to spawn turrets, and you can just kill everything else during that time. 
Unfortunately, I'm getting flinched way too much, and the champion's already at my door, so I'm just going to deal with him first. Or well, not, because I'm getting flinched too much. <laughs> Good thing about hero difficulty is that unstoppables will almost always be able to be stunned. As soon as they come out of being stunned, you can stun them almost immediately again, which is nice. Anyway, so we're going to jump up. Do the same thing for the other side. Try to use a heavy on that, but I can't hit my shots for shit. Once we've done all these guys, we're going to drop down. I'm going to say hi to the champion and put a well down here. I'm going to get the emo finisher off there, which is nice. Then going to weaken this guy here. The clave don't get the emote off, which is annoying, but. Try again, try again, because I just got a heavy break, but it's whatever. Fortunately, I do get a break from Beyond as well. I don't know, I th for that guy, I thought I was going to do it, but I just didn't. Anyway, so now we're pretty stacked on heavy armor, which is really nice. Um, so I'm just going to use some of it to take care of these guys. And now we're going up the lift. We have 264,000 points already, which is really nice. And three and a half minutes till time, till point decay. So, since we have a lot of uh, ammo, I'm going to put my well down and then I'm going to quickly take out all of the scorpion turrets. That'll get me rampages of all types, precision, void, heavy, lots of points already. And we're just gonna push him over with some grenades thanks to Starfire and then the Magnum while he's up there. He's gonna spawn four turrets here so I'm just gonna take them out quickly. This will help us get our super back very quickly as well. Should be very useful for the coming part. Get another grenade and magnum to take care of these gladiators because they are super goddamn annoying. I'm just gonna use heavy to clean up everything else. Gonna throw a grenade at the shadow guard. So he's weak. I accidentally kill him, but it's fine. Because I get a precision kill as well. I'm gonna just go over and dunk the ball. I'm going to try to get a few kills here. I'll go for the finish here, which is very risky, but you know, it worked out, so it's fine. I want to get to the middle uh, as soon as possible because I want to be able to deal with the war beasts, but I also want my super for that for extra streaks. Thankfully the war beasts only spawn when you hit certain thresholds of Zahn's health. So I'm just going to wait here, throw a grenade, and then start dealing with the war beasts as well. As you can see we're just racking up the streaks points. Also, the, my, uh, my Cabal allies uh, do deal significant damage to Zahn and take a lot of heat off me, which is really nice as well. Almost dies to some frag grenades, which is amazing. I'm just going to pepper him down till he uh, spawns the next wave. Put the well down here just so I can clear things up with a bit more impunity and deal with the Thresher as well. I'm running very low on heavy armor now, but this is like the only thing I'm actually going to use it on, so it's alright. 
We've hit the 20 minute mark, which means points are decaying, but that doesn't mean we should stop and just try to finish soon, like I used to think. Because there are still quite a few things to kill. So I get the emote finish off here, which is... Well, apparently I didn't. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so accidentally track with the ball melee, which is always fun. Now I'm going to put my rift down here so I can try to get some weapon kills. That was a really bad idea, so I'm just running away. Fortunately, get a grenade kill so I get some health back. And now I've got my well. So now I just want to do some damage to him. So he spawns all these turrets and scions. Which you can then use to get some precision sprees and such. So I don't know if another wave spawns. I think it might, but I'm running fairly low on time and he's running low on health, so I'm just going to take him out. And there we have it, 320,000 points on week 2 of Guardian Games, The Arms Dealer. This was quite a pain to do. I'm very glad that this week is done and we'll probably be able to use Trinity Ghoul for the Glass Wave, which is going to be really nice. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you found this enjoyable. If you did, like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.